El Capitan is the DOE National Nuclear Security Administration's first exascale machine. As the world's most powerful machine, it will be greater than two exaflops. To put that in perspective, most modern cell phones are on the order of two teraflops. You would need one million cell phones to equal the power of El Capitan. El Capitan is going to be used primarily to support the nuclear deterrent mission of the NNSA, which is the stockpile stewardship mission, supporting the enduring stockpile that we have, understanding issues of aging and making sure that we can assess the stockpile as being safe, secure, and reliable. Having access to an exascale computer for our national security mission is going to be tremendous for the tri-labs. Sandia, Los Alamos, Livermore all have important questions that they need to be answered. And one of the big national security implications of having an exascale machine is the life extension program and the modernization program. Our mission at the lab has increased in complexity dramatically over the past 10 to 15 years. We had two modernization programs kind of come online at the same time, and those had new requirements for modeling and simulation. So with El Capitan, we're expecting breakthrough performance gains on our multi-physics applications, not just on node performance, but the scale. The sheer number of unknowns we'll be able to solve for is going to be unprecedented. So Sierra, the previous advanced technology system at Livermore Computing, was a 125 petaflop peak system. El Capitan is more than 20 times as capable as Sierra. This is the fastest supercomputer we've ever deployed in the National Nuclear Security Administration. The potential for science on this machine is amazing. Uh, not just in the National Security Enterprise with El Capitan, but also in the general open science enterprise with Tuolumne. Tuolumne is a smaller version of El Capitan. Its mission is to do unclassified science for the entire laboratory and our collaborators. It will be a world-class resource used to solve problems in material science, nuclear structure, astrophysics, climate science, and many others. So partnership is everything for building a system of this scale. It's a system we've been working with HPE and AMD to deploy here at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Laboratory. We've been working hand in hand with each other, not only to get the system built, but to get the applications ready so that on day one, the system is effective for our needs. El Capitan has been extraordinary, really, from start to finish. We're very excited about the significant innovations in the system. This includes HPE's Rabbit modules which are near-node local storage. This enables a set of compute nodes to access the same physical resources as if they were directly mounted on those compute nodes. El Capitan and Tuolumne use AMD's APU, Accelerated Processing Unit. This is the first time this particular chip technology has been used in a machine. Historically, we've needed to use very large calculations on GPU machines. They've been very computationally hungry, but the hardware on this machine will allow us to run smaller calculations, thousands and thousands of smaller calculations. And the sheer size of El Capitan means we can take that single node problem and scale it up to something that we've never been able to do before. El Capitan will prove revolutionary for our application scientists. And that fills me with a tremendous sense of pride, particularly after the many years of effort that have gone into building what is, I think, the, the most beautiful system we've ever deployed here. And I wake up and I think, how in the world did I get to work on this? And it is quite a privilege. And what's truly special, not only about this big team effort, is that it's driven by the mission of the National Nuclear Security Administration. We are really aimed at their goals and delivering capability that this group of people need to drive their mission forward. It's one big mission, and we're all working towards that goal.